In this tutorial, we will guide you on how to open MySQL database with MS Access. For that, we would have to make an ODBC connection. For this purpose, open up your control panel and click on the System and Security option. Over here, move to the Administrative Tools option, and once the new window opens up, click on the ODBC Data Source option. With that done, the ODBC Data Source Admin window will open up. Over here, move to the DSN tab and click on the Add button. Now scroll down the list, choose MySQL ODBC Driver, and click on the Finish button. After that, a configuration window will open up. In that, give a name for your data source, type localhost in the server field, specify root as a user, because it is a default user in all MySQL instances, and write the name of your desired database in the database field. After that, click on the Test button. A message will pop up confirming that the connection is successful. Now open up Microsoft Access. Click on the blank database option and let's create a new database. After that, move to the External Data tab and click on the More option. With that done, a drop down menu will appear on the screen. Over here, choose the ODBC database option. With the new window opened up, choose the Link to Data Source option and hit Enter. A window will open up where you will be required to choose the data source connection. Over here, move over to the Machine Data Source tab, choose the same DSN which you created earlier, and hit Enter. After that, it will show you all of the tables which your database contains. You can choose any table individually or select all of them. For this tutorial, we will select all the tables in the database. Now you will be required to choose the field or fields that identify each selected table. After that, all of the database tables will appear in Microsoft Access. You can see that the table structure is the same as it was in the database, enabling you to comfortably manage your database through Microsoft Access. And that's it.